Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the new 5x5 test tent with another unboxing video. We got another banger from Grandmaster LEDs here, man. Holy hell. We have the Tarantula Vulcan Nitro. And this is a high-end light. If you guys are looking for top of the line, this is it. Let's get into it. All right, we got it all hooked up and ready to go. Let's uh, take a little overview look here, and then we'll take a look at the accessories that it comes with. That is a uh, banger of a light. Look at that thing. Almost fills the whole 5x5. Five five. This is a 5x5 five five tent. So this is a pretty good size light. Pretty good size driver. It is an Inventronics driver. The LED diodes are uh, LM301H and Osram. So this is top, top of the line all the way. All the way, guys. Well, let's uh, take a quick look at the accessories that it comes with in the box. All right, so this is what you get when you open the box. Uh, of course, you get the light, uh, you get the driver, the power cord, and the hanging kit. You also get the, uh, the rope ratchets that are metal gear, rope ratchets, of course. Uh, we've got both uh, the daisy chain uh, cords, and uh, I believe you can use these also to hook up to some uh, controllers, things like that. Uh, we've got, of course, the uh, GML Show little infographic there. Awesome. Nothing on the back. Uh, this does have a five-year warranty. It's all over their website, of course. And there's the uh, manual. Let's take a quick look through this. Five-year warranty right there at the top. But it's a big manual. <laughs> it's hard to hold it in screen here. This thing's huge. Usually I'm used to little tiny manuals that are just trying to squeeze everything into a little tiny space. So if you want to take a look at any of this, feel free to pause and check it out. It's just the, uh, uh, the specs and stuff. You can also get all that on their website as well. There's a little bit how to hook up the um, controller, as I was saying before. Uh, safety warnings, recommendations, all that good stuff. On that page, this shows kind of how to hook up the fixture. Shows what it comes with. Very, very good assembly instructions. Actually, really good. Nice. Again, these are huge. Like, if you're... If your heart, <laughs> if your sight is not not that great, your your sight's a little rough, man. This is gonna be the booklet for you. This is a full-on magazine. A little bit more on the hookup. Uh, instructions for adjusting the spectrum manually, because you can adjust the spectrum, which is nice. It does have one knob for all that. We'll go over the uh, how to use that. Here's a little bit more on that in the digital display. Instructions for dimming, programming. You can actually, uh, it's got a built in timer if you want to use it. Pretty sick. I think that's the last page, right? Yeah, that's the last page. Logo on the back. Good to go. Then you also get this, which is awesome. It's got the GML logo on there. Little deal to carry it from feels like it may float as well but it's a uh, pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes check that out hell yeah and cloth to clean it so a cool little freebie there and some uh, wire ties to help clean up your uh, your build and whatnot so let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing and uh, hook it up to the four corner par meter and we'll see what she pushes. Be right back. All right, we got it hooked up to the four corner par meter. You think this bad boy is up to the challenge? I think so, man. This thing is killer. It is foldable for shipping, of course. It's really easy to hang. It does have these uh, hangers. They're a little bit long, some people complain about that, but people in a room uh, with a higher ceiling, 
uh, they love those. Uh, if you don't like those, you can just use, I mean, just four rope ratchets. Makes it super easy. You got the uh, driver here, of course. It's an Inventronics driver in a uh, little housing there with all the controls on the end. Now with these controls, you've got this little button down here that you push to go channel one or channel two. Channel two is red, channel one is white. Right now we've got the red at 100% and the white at 9%. And that's currently what we are looking at right now. So that's all the red at 100% and the white at 9%, and then you get, of course, a uh, UV on each of the boards. All the way down, other side too. Just a sick looking light, guys. Got the little tarantula logo there. Really, really sick. Look at that sucker. That is a bad boy. So, as I was saying, you uh, change the uh, um, spectrum and the dimming from the same dial you just use a button to switch it out so let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at what she pushes we're of course at 25 inches off the deck here simulate a 24 inch canopy because the sensors are about an inch tall let's go ahead and get the uh, watt meter camera and power meter camera fired up there there we go and so we're looking at right now only pushing 139 watts and this is with the uh, the red at hundred percent and the white at nine percent so this is basically like seedling and clone area pretty much you could do with this if you want that much red now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn off the white and we're just going to test the red. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So there we go. Now we're just looking at the red only. That looks pretty sick. Let's see what we're pushing here. About 50 par, 60 par to the corners. See the wattage. 71, 70, 71 watts. I'm looking at there. So that's about what we're pushing. If you just wanted to run just straight red. Let's take a look at the, uh, the center here real quick. 132 in the middle. So that's actually a decent amount of red. I mean, look at how many diodes you got. And these are gonna be the, uh, uh, the Osram diodes, I believe on the red. And then the white are uh, Samsung LM301H. This is all top of the line. They spared no expense on this bad boy. So let's kick the uh, the white back on here. Back to 9%. Now let's test uh, with just the white. I'm gonna turn the red all the way down to zero. There we go, zeroed out. Still got a couple diodes on there but it doesn't fire everything up. And then we can go back to channel one. Let's kick this up a little bit more. Try and get to uh, like a seedling and clone area, maybe 20%. Yeah, that'd probably be pretty good. About 120, 130 in the corners. Uh, the back corners are going to be a little bit higher. Uh, this one's like a perfect corner because you can see it's got all the ultimate reflection. This one's got a little porthole there. And then these ones are kind of partially open. They're very similar though on th on this tent. It's big enough I can actually make like a little, a little makeshift corner here. So that works out pretty good. And then this side of course has uh, a little bit of corner as well. But that's why that side's higher than this side. Obviously the door's open. We got to be able to see what's going on. So that's a little explanation on that. But this is gonna be seedlings and clones at 20%. It's gonna be great. Center reading, 245, yeah. Yeah, you're totally fine. Totally fine on that one. Let's kick it up to, uh, let's try and hit veg here. Let's try and hit 
try, what, 40% maybe? Nope, not quite there. 60? Yeah, there we go. That may even be a little bit high for some people. I'd like to be about 350-ish. Uh, we can maybe go like 55. 55%. Yeah, see like that. That's about where I would probably be. So like 55% on the uh, on the white there. Let's take a look at the center. Holy crap. Seven, seven, 17, 718 in the middle. Whew. We're already flowering in the middle on that. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that's nuts. That is crazy. All right, so let's go and uh, let's actually try and hit flower in the corners here. Maybe 80%? No way. We're almost there at 80%. We're just going to go all the way open because I think it's that's what it's going to take. I mean, a 5x5 five five is a huge tent. This is actually really impressive if it's going to be able to uh, put the whole thing out like that. Yeah. I mean, look at that. 584, 638, 542, 543. So roughly 580 to 600, roughly. I mean, you close the door, obviously it's going to go up a little bit. That's uh, that's killing the game. That's killing the game. What do you think the center reading is going to be, guys? What do you think the center reading? Let's check it out. 1172 in the middle. 1172. So that's... I mean, that's killing it, man. For a 5x5? Five five? Are you kidding me? A 5x5 five five is... I mean, it's not quite double a 4x4. Four four. I mean, it's kind of close. Like three quarters of the way. Somewhere in there. Like, this is a massive space to be covering. For one, one fixture. One fixture to rule them all. Apparently, it's this thing. Because, damn, that's pretty killer. And we don't even have the red turned up. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and crank the red. And let's see what that does. Let's crank that up to 100. Hundo. Here we go. 100%. That's going to take us to 749 watts. Almost 750 watts. And that takes us to 6. Wow. Wow. 600 to 700 in the corners that's amazing like even in the furthest corner you're gonna get fat nuggets even in the furthest corner that's killing the game guys this is a huge space like this is just massive so much room for activities in here i don't even know how many plants you could fit in this sucker Damn, son. That is impressive. Yeah, 750 watts. 1,300 in the middle. Look at that. 1,300 in the middle. I mean, this is... I said this was a high-end light, guys. I ain't lying. I am not lying. Killing the game. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Impressive to say the least. Let's pull out the uh, spectrometer. We'll take a look and see. We've got the far red and everything cranked all the way up as high as it'll go. So let's take a look and see what it says here. Hopefully my meter's not too cold. There we go. Oh wow, it's got a double blue spike? I've never seen that before. So we got two different spectrums of blue for a double blue spike. Look at that 740 bump. <laughs> that is 
That has got to be the biggest 740 bump in the history of my channel. I am pretty sure that is killing it, man. Look at the far red. The far red is almost as high as the blue. Oh my God. This thing has so much light, so much red, so much blue, a little bit of green, a little bit of the filler stuff. I mean, you need to have that a little bit there, but man, red and blue banger. Talk about it. Red and blue banger. Wow. Killing the game, guys. Killing the game. Let's check it out without the far red, though. Let's take a look and see just normal. If you want to run without the far red, let's see how that changes. Look at that. That big old bump is gone. That is so cool. So cool. And we're down to 21 on the far red. So yeah, definitely adjustable because you can adjust this from zero to 100% on the white and on the red. So fully adjustable spectrum. You can do what you want, when you want. Pretty killer. Really, really awesome. Killing the game, guys. Killing the game. So there's really only uh, one more thing left to do, and that's just let it warm up for a while. See what kind of heat readings we get. I don't think it's going to be bad, really. I mean, this is a, a pretty thick, pretty thick chunk of metal here. Driver box. We'll see how it goes. We got about a 70 degree Fahrenheit ambient temperature in here. So let's let it warm up and uh, take some heat readings. Be right back. All right, we're back and we've let uh, the light warm up for a couple hours now. Let's take a look and see what kind of heat we're generating. Again, this is in about a uh, 70 degree Fahrenheit room. Looks like max reading about 121 on the boards there. One twenty two. The driver box. One ten, one eleven. Not bad at all. So really good. Really, really good. Awesome, awesome numbers actually. That's pretty low for pretty much everything. So the uh, the diodes aren't really being pushed hard. The uh, driver isn't really being pushed hard. This thing's a banger. I'm telling you right now, uh, this this light is uh, is definitely very good. There have been so many great lights uh, coming out, and there's more to be reviewed that are coming down the pipeline. But this thing is uh, this thing's nuts. I told you guys this is going to be a high end light. I was not joking. This thing is super high end. And you might say, you know. Like this thing's really just super expensive. There's no way I would pay that much for a light, but you really got to think about it in the context because a light like this, I mean, this is a five by five tent. This is a big tent. You should be pulling at a minimum, minimum, bare minimum, two pounds out of here. Now, I don't know about you, but two pounds of some dank where I live is a lot more than this light costs. And you think you can do this for five years. Think probably three grows a year, maybe four, if you're really good. It's definitely going to pay for itself. And then a lot, lot more. So, got to think about it like that, guys. This thing's a banger. They killed it. Uh, discount code's below. Make sure you check that out. All the links to the website and everything, check that out too. But uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Until next time, happy growing.